What's up guys, Prone Lord here, giving you a tutorial on how to install the Aether mod. A sh special shout out to Johnny John John, a friend of Michael's. And I already got everything set up, so let's get to it. You want to open up Google Chrome, or whatever you have, any kind of explorer or browser. You're going to go to Google and enter in the toolbar, Aether mod download. You're going to see two links here. You want to go to the second link. Trust me on this one. It's going to say fileplanet.com. You're going to press it. Go to the site. And if your browser is like mine, it installs it right away. But I'm not going to install it because I already have it on my desktop. So install the mod. Put it anywhere you want. I put it to my desktop because it's easier for me. I'm going to open it. And you're going to have two files. It's going to have jar and resources. You're going to put this to the side you're gonna go to your starting bar and gonna enter percent app data percent press enter and you should see a dot minecraft file right here you're gonna press on it you're gonna go to your bin and you also should see a minecraft executable draw file sorry for the mispronunciation you're going to open with WinRAR Achiever. Okay, you're going to close that. Okay. So you're going to see all of these files right here. You don't need to worry about them. And then you should see, I think, between net and item, you're going to see a meta info file, all in caps. What you want to do is that you're going to delete that meta info file because it's going to stop you from downloading the, the certain mod you want, any kind of mod. So you're going to, after you delete that, you're going to go back to your two files right here that are jar and resources. You're going to open your jar and you should see all of these either entity render files. You're going to con press control and A. And it should be all highlighted everything. You're just going to click wherever. You're going to drag it and place it in this little white area right here. I want to cancel it because I already have everything installed. So, after you're done with that, you're going to go back and you're going to go to your resources. You're going to see a mod folder. You're going to want to open that. And you're going to see all these music, cave music, DJ Cal. I don't even know what that is. You're going to go back to your resources file right here and you're going to see sound and sound 3. Don't worry about all this other stuff. I already have either mod installed, so don't worry. What you're going to do is you're going to highlight all this, and you're going to drag it right into here in this white area. I'm not going to do it because, like I said, I already have it installed. And you want to make a file that's called mods. And what you're going to do is you're going to close this out after you drag it. And you're going to put your either 1.73 mod into the mod folder. Just in case anything happens to the mod if you did it wrong or installed it wrong. Okay. And you should be done. Let's open Minecraft. I'm going to give you a little hint of what it looks like. Minecraft proxy. Thank you. So you're going to log in. Alright. And it should show you a screen like this. Mohang. It will stay there for a while, and it's going to go loading level, building terrain, it's going to say all that stuff. Mine goes quickly because I already installed it, but it's going to take a while. But it's going to say the either, and you're going to have all these options right here. And then, uh, for you, it's going to be blank right here, so you're not going to have any worlds. So you're going to go to create new world. New world, so uh, it could be called whatever you want. Let's just call it Harry X for now. I'm gonna go to create. Actually, it doesn't matter which one you go to. You're gonna have all the mods anyway. It's gonna be generating. It takes a while, don't worry. And once it builds the terrain, and once you're into the game, you're gonna have many options like creative mode, the too many mods mod, or too many items mod. Correction. Baggy. We can fix that later. Okay, and then you should have too many items mod right here with all these categories. And you should have creative mode 
rain, set time to sunrise, noon, sunset, and midnight. You can go to creative mode whenever you want. Okay, and you're going to want to grab some glowstone. I don't need creative mode. I got this right here. Uh, here's some glowstone. And you're going to need some water. And it's just exactly like the nether portal. We're going to open it. Or we're going to make four blocks across. Four blocks high. Ah. One, two, three, four. One, two. Okay. Ouch. And you're going to take out your water. Water bucket, whatever one you're using. And put it on the top on each side and you should have a portal right here you wanna go inside it ooh snowball and you're gonna be entering the aether we got through it guys it just takes forever to build terrain if you're entering it for the first time building terrain This is for you, Johnny boy. Johnny to John, John, John. <laughs> Come on now. Come on, Timothy. I know we can do this. Simulating world for a bit. And there you have it. The Aether mod. Wow, 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 wow. And just to say, it's going to be really laggy for the first time. Just saying. Ooh, present. And beware. You're not going to spawn exactly on land. Uh, some chances will be that you spawn on a cloud or on a single block island. It's not going to be pretty, but yeah, it'll be worth it. Okay, hopefully this uh, tutorial helped you guys out. Thanks for watching. And hopefully, John, you'll be happy with what I've done for you. Don't forget to comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.